Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. You knew it was going to happen just one day after its announcement, Jelly Bean has been leaked. It's been leaked on the Galaxy Nexus, whether you're running a CDMA Galaxy Nexus or a GSM Galaxy Nexus, you can actually load it on right now and test it, and we've got it running on this Verizon Galaxy Nexus, and we're going to show you all about Jelly Bean in this video. So let's get to it. Okay, let's get started. This is a preview, but it's remarkably stable for being a preview. Everything works, literally everything works. So let's go into the lock screen here. We're gonna unlock the screen. The first thing you're gonna notice is that the lock screen's a little bit different. We saw this in the emulator. You kind of get these pretty little dots as you move your finger around. And now there's a third entry at the top here to go to Google Now, but we're gonna talk about that later. There's another way to get to that. So we're gonna to go to the right to unlock, and here is Jelly Bean. So there's a lot of cool stuff to show you. Uh, the first thing we're gonna show you is the voice search because I think it's a lot better than Siri, a lot better than S Voice because it's so much faster. Watch this. How tall is Barack Obama? Whoa, that was so fast. And if it's a piece of information that it can put into a card, it does. Uh, so for example, what's the weather going to be tomorrow? Check it out, pretty cool. Uh, so let's try something else. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Now I said that pretty fast. Let's see if it got it right. Got it right. If it doesn't have an answer for you, it will go uh, into uh, just a standard Google web search. So let's do one more. When is the next leap year? I'd be impressed if it got this. Yeah, it sort of did. It brought up a Google search result, so it technically really didn't get it. So the voice search, they're not really calling this any kind of voice assistant, or uh, they're not calling it G voice or anything like that. It's just the Google voice search, and now it works very well. Uh, to answer information, and, and the best part about it is that it works so fast. Siri has to think, S-Voice gets it wrong like 90% of the time, but this seems to be the best of all worlds, and we're going to have a follow-up video talking about this compared to the other voice search services. Next thing I want to show you is Google Now, and the way you get to that is you, you tap the home button and you drag up to Google, or as you saw on the lock screen, you can actually access it through that as well. Uh, so here we are. Um, so these are just some sample cards. Uh, I've got my calendar, Stephen in noon. Uh, the idea behind Google now is that it will intelligently give you information based on whatever you're doing and what your calendar status is. And I really haven't had a chance to play with this. Again, we're going to cover this in a future video because it has a lot of potential. One of the things that the Google guys were talking about on stage was, let's say you're in a restaurant and you go into Google now, it will know you're in that restaurant and it will give you entree uh, recommendations. That's just really cool uh, in my opinion and up here there's a standard Google search bar and what you could do down here it says show more cards let's see what else we get it didn't really pull in anything it doesn't have much to work with because I haven't used it that much apparently it gets smarter as you use it so let's go back now probably the biggest feature in, in my opinion uh, to Jelly Bean is butter so Google tried to make the operating system just feel snappier and there's a lot of technical stuff behind this that you know, I'm not really that concerned about. I want to know if it just feels faster. The first thing I'm going to go into here is the multitask UI. Now, an ice cream sandwich, whether you're on the fastest device or medium range device or low end device, this this animation always takes way too long, in my opinion. Let's see how it looks in Jelly Bean. Okay, the animation is pretty much gone, and as a, as a basis of comparison, we've got the Galaxy S3 here running Cyanogen Mod 9, so it's kind of stock ice cream sandwich, potentially a little bit better. So let's do a speed tester. Try to do them at the same time. As you saw, there was kind of a stuttery animation. Further, watch what happens when we flick the items off the screen. Much faster on the Galaxy Nexus. I mean, it's about a second or half a second faster on the Galaxy Nexus, which really makes a difference. Other places that Project Butter come into play here is in the app drawer. So if we go into the app drawer, really tough to, to show on camera. You kind of just got to feel it. This is insanely fast. Like it just snaps into place kind of as if it's anticipating my next move. Another place where you feel Butter's presence, this is kind of a weird way to talk about it, is in the web browser. Oh, do you feel it in the web browser? So we're loading up Pocket now here. I'm going to zoom out. And scrolling, as long as the page is loaded, of course, is just, I, dare I say, buttery smooth. I mean, it just, it flies. Uh, and 
it, again, and this is really hard to explain. It's it's kind of incredible uh, what Google has done. Dare I say, it feels a lot like iOS, where inputs are prioritized over sort of background processes and other things like that. Um, just browsing the web is in another league now on Jelly Bean, and, and, and it's very exciting that they did that. Another thing we want to show off is the camera, taking a feature sort of from Windows Phone 7, actually. So we take a picture of my wonderful hand. It'll fly off to the right, and you can flick off to the right and see that picture. Then you can do a little film strip type view here. Again, this is right out of Windows Phone 7, and you can see uh, the pictures that you've taken in sort of a zoomed out view. So that's kind of a cool little feature to have. Uh, another thing to note here is the home screen, the launcher has been changed to do some cool things. Uh, one of the things you can do is more easily add widgets. So let's go over to widgets. Let's drop, say, mm, uh, let's see, what's Google Playbook? Sure. Take it and drop it here, and it will resize and move things around on the screen. So no longer do you have to do this shuffling of icons around the screen. So if I want to move this over to the left, everything gets out of the way. If I want to move it to the bottom right, everything gets out of the way, or at least it should kind of see. There we go. Things get out of the way just like uh, nature intended. An another thing that's new with the home screen launcher, so if you tap and hold on the background, you get a slightly different wallpaper UI. It's just a kind of little thing there. Next, let's talk about notifications uh, because they've been changed and developers now can tap into notifications and do really cool stuff with it. So if we bring down the notification tray, um, here's a great example. I've got a missed call from Mason and what I can do right, right from the notification tray is call him back or send him a text message, which is super cool. Another thing you can do is actually expand notifications. So I've got an email here, and to expand it, the gesture is really, really weird. You gotta ex use like a ET style two finger spread thing. It's just really, really weird, but uh, apparently you'll get used to it. And it's especially useful when you've got a bunch of emails, um, because then you can see little previews of all the different emails that you have, just giving more utility to the notification shade. Another thing that's a little bit frustrating, actually, about the notification chain is that in Android ice cream sandwich, uh, the notification shade goes all the way to the bottom, right? And so very easily, with a flick of your thumb, you could put it back. In Jelly Bean, you'll notice that it actually doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It stops before the on-screen button. So a lot of the time, I'm accidentally you know, flicking on this and, and hitting a button, uh, which will actually close the notification shade, but I kind of like just being able to go from the bottom of the screen and all the way up. Another thing we want to talk about here, and I know we're going fast, but there's a lot to cover. So we go into settings, things look a little bit different. As we talked about in the emulator video, the toggle switches are a little bit updated. If you want to, if you're curious, we can go into uh, the ice cream sandwich UI here. Things are just a little bit different. They don't have that little slant. Who knows why they, why they changed that. Another thing that's different is that if you go down to accounts, no longer is there sort of a subsection for accounts and settings. It's just accounts are listed and sort of broken out right here within the, uh, within the settings screen. So for better or for worse, I kind of liked it the way it was before, but it's definitely something I'll get used to. Go to about phone, Android 4.1. Let's get that Easter egg. Hey, check that out, jelly bean, cute little guy. If we tap him, will he dance? Will he sing? Will he do something magical? I don't think so. Uh, another small change that I've found, if you go in the Google Play Store and you search for something, let's say words with friends, as you start typing, if there's an actual match, you can see a little icon that will bring you directly to uh, the app. And below it, you'll have the standard searches. So again, if we do say new, or there we go, Netflix, right? Netflix, you'll see a little icon. You'll be taken directly to the Netflix app page instead of going to the Netflix search results page. And that just makes a lot of sense. And the Google Play Store in Ice Cream Sandwich always had this weird stutter, this weird animation problem. I can, I'm happy to report that in Jelly Bean, it's just rocket fast. Uh, the animation is smooth, it's fluid. It just looks, it just looks awesome. So that was a look at Android Jelly Bean. Again, if you've got a Galaxy Nexus, you can install this quite easily. We'll put links up in the description so you can do it. The headline here, for me at least, is Project Butter because Android Ice Cream Sandwich and really all previous versions had a lag problem, whether you're running on quad core or single core. And in Jelly Bean, things are absolutely, positively 
faster and more snappier. And in the web browser, it's just, it is day and night. It truly is incredible how fast they've made input in the web browser, which is one of the most important places. So we like what we see with Jelly Bean and can't wait until it's available for more devices. Uh, and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And as, as always, thank you for watching. That's it for now.